Hello and welcome to the Comlex Instant Review. Let's talk about brain abscess. It's a common topic in infectious disease and typically patients come in with a headache, nausea, vomiting, seizure, focal neurological deficits. It's very similar to meningitis except they don't have neck stiffness, which is the key. You should get the CT or MRI. Lumbar puncture is contraindicated because these patients typically will have a high intracranial pressure and you can treat it with treating the causative organism and it's common in HIV patients to have this due to Toxoplasma gondii and um, other infections such as nocardia, streptococci, staphylococcus, all of these are common. In patients with HIV, pyrimethamine and sulfazidine is usually the recommended medication. Now let's talk about viral encephalitis. How does this usually present? Well, the clinical presentation um, is patients who have an altered mental status, motor or sensory deficits, and speech and movement disorders. So that's a key finding that you did not have in meningitis or the brain abscess, the motor sensory deficits with speech and movement disorders. So some patients who have meningitis will show lethargy and headache, but they won't show altered mental status. And it can be distinguished from meningitis based on that fact that patients with viral encephalitis will have the altered mental status. Diagnosis is by CSF examination in HSV encephalitis which reveals an elevated WBC count and an elevated RBC count. Also CSF analysis for antibodies and PCR can identify the causative organism. So the key here is going to be elevated WBC and an elevated RBC count which is markedly different from the other findings that you have on the CSF analysis. CT may show temporal lobe changes in some cases of HSV encephalitis. Now what causes viral encephalitis is a viremia typically and HSV type 1 is the most common, followed by arboviruses, which are the West Nile, uh, St. Louis, and Eastern Western Equine encephalitis. Keep in mind that if you see a CT with enhancement in the temporal lobe regions, you should think about HSV encephalitis. The treatment can be IV acyclovir, and that's key. It's not oral or IM, it's IV acyclovir. And again, the other treatments for other diseases is mainly supportive. So that was a board review of um, encephalitis and brain abscess. Please visit complexflashcards.com for additional board review lectures and a blog that will give you daily updates on how to prepare for the board exam. Good luck in your preparation.